De Morgan saw state that the intersection of two complements is equivalent to the complement of the union, and the union of two complements is equivalent to the complement of the intersection. So before we do the proof, it helps to understand what it means for a point to not belong to an intersection or to a union. So if we have two sets, A and B, which may or may not have an intersection, and we have a point X which does not belong to the intersection, on the drawing that would mean that it's a point that is anywhere that's not the intersection. So notice how it could also be in this portion of A or in this portion of B, which means that it could be in A or B individually, but it's not in both of them at the same time. So we can say that it's definitely not in one of the two for sure. So it's definitely not in A um, or not in B or possibly both. So what this means here is that X either does not belong to A or does not belong to B, which is equivalent to saying that X belongs to A complement, so it's outside A, or it's outside B, or possibly both. So I think a lot of people get confused with the fact that here we're talking about an intersection which intuitively might make you think that you should use an AND here, but it actually has to be an OR. And it helps to understand um, by, by looking at the drawing. So the idea is that we're saying that it's not in both at the same time. So it's definitely not in one of them. It doesn't necessarily have to be out of both A and B individually. And then it's uh, kind of the opposite when you're talking about the union. So if a point does not belong to a union, that means that it's not going to be anywhere over here. So notice how now it's definitely not in A and it's also not in B. So we can say that X does not belong to A and X does not belong to B. Which is equivalent to saying that X belongs to A complement and also X belongs to B complement. So it's outside both of the both of the sets individually. So because uh, with these equalities, with these equations, we're talking about um, the intersection of two complements equaling the complement of the union, we have to prove it in both ways for each one. So first we start off uh, focusing on the, the statement that we're looking at the intersection of the two complements. And you just have to really think about what that means. So if a point is, um, is in this intersection. So if X belongs to A complement intersection B complement, that means that X belongs to A complement and also X belongs to B complement. And that's equivalent to saying then that X does not belong to A and also X does not belong to B. So if it does not belong to, um, to both of them at the same time, that's going back to what we said over here, this Porsche specifically, that X does not belong to the union of the two. And if it does not belong to the union, then that's equivalent to belonging to the complement. So we can say that X belongs to the complement of the union. And so we've already proved the, the first statement. So you really just have to think about what it means for um, a point to belong to an intersection or to belong to a union. And then um, this kind of concept comes up pretty often where we say that if a point um, belongs to the complement, it's equivalent to not belonging to the original set. So you can just kind of go back and forth between those. Now we prove it in the opposite way. So now we start off looking at A union B complement. And if we have an X factor that belongs to that, First of all, we can remove the complement and say that X does not belong to A union B, which is equivalent to saying what we had over here, that X does not belong to A, and also X does not belong to B. And if that's true, then we can say that X belongs to A complement and also X belongs to B complement. So if it belongs to both A complement and B complement at the same time, then that means that it has to belong to the intersection of the two. And so we just went backwards essentially from here to here. So you are expected to show it both ways. 
Then the second one is going to be extremely similar. So with that one, we start off focusing on the union of the two complements. So we can say that if x belongs to the union, then it has to belong to at least one of the two. So it has to belong to a complement or it has to belong to b complement. And if that's the case, then we can say that x does not belong to A, or X does not belong to B. So if it does not belong to at least one or the other, then the X, the X vector is definitely not going to belong to the intersection, which means that it has to belong to the complement of the intersection. So it's extremely similar, except that um, instead of and, we used or. Now we go again in the opposite way. So we start off looking at the complement of the intersection. And we're taking an x vector, which belongs to that. So first we can remove the complement and say that x does not belong to A intersection B. So if it doesn't belong to the intersection, then it's definitely not in one of the two sets, at least. So x does not belong to A, or x does not belong to B, which is equivalent to saying that x belongs to A complement, or x belongs to B complement. So if it has to belong to at least one of them, then it's going to be in the union. So x is going to belong to the union of A complement, union B complement.